Hello campers, how you doing? Sorry, I'm just doing a few quick ones. This one's going to be about 15 minutes long. Hope you're all right and you have a good Saturday. I did have a shuffle, but I had these cards that came out. So they kept popping out as well. So I got, they made the worst mistake of their life. And then it said, now... I've got to stop shouting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so they made the worst mistake of their life. Now they are suffering with borderline bipolar. So they could be going out of their head and like hearing voices and just not in a very good place, to be honest. You had to learn to be your own hero because of this person. This came out a lot. And I believe you did because this came up in another read for you. But your happiness is now going to help other people to feel better. So you might have a platform or you might just do that as a job, helping people. I know the light's crap in here, isn't it? Yeah, this is their energy. So your happiness makes other people feel better. I don't think your happiness makes this person feel better, though, which is creating them to have bipolar you might have realized they had bipolar before when you knew them and that's why you probably realized you made the biggest um, mistake in your life getting with this person I just got leaded to tell you but they've made the worst mistake of their life and this is going to give them such bad mental health if they didn't have it already and I'm feeling they're going to have to be their own hero now because they tried to take away your happiness to make them feel better which isn't very nice guys yeah someone's got something to tell you i think maybe someone's gonna tell you some sad oh i'm going really cold guys someone is gonna tell you something might be sad news but i feel this person wants to tell you something sad just to break your soul because i think this person is a horrible person yeah my left ear is ringing i think this person is just going to try and tell you something about a friend or an ex and uh, or it could be one of their family members that's going to tell you something but I think they just want to offload it on you because they're horrible and um, they just want to tell you sad news I think you already know about this sad news that they're going to tell you or you was already there and you already heard about this but I think this person just likes making you feel sad because they just go too far because they got bipolar <sighs> yeah god will be your strength whatever happens but i think you were there when this was said already what this person i think this person doesn't realize that you know more than they think you do yeah you know what you said or you know what was said because you were there when they said it i'm getting yeah this person's a bit of a happiness um hater i think this might be something concerning your home and about you having a nice home and maybe that you are the real deal now and it might be breaking this person but this person feels like they feel like they have to um break your soul this ex or family member because they can't get in touch with their own emotions and I think this person is just a really selfish person who's missing home because they know that you are their home and they're finding out that you are the real deal and that you do help others this person might want to know how you stay so happy I'm getting and how you have become your own hero. I think they're realising that they made a mistake. Because they know how strong you are. And this is really sad news to them. But this person does like breaking your soul. And this person uh, uses sex um, like it's love. But I think they're more unhappy because you've blocked off sex with this person. And um, they're not getting any love from you. And they don't like it. Yes, yeah, because you're becoming your own biggest fan. And this person doesn't like it. And they don't. February the 2nd could be a date for you. This light is terrible, isn't it? Sorry, guys. that better? Yeah. Yeah, February the 2nd or number 2 could be a date for you. 
Yeah, someone thinks you're sad. I think someone thinks... I think someone likes to think that you might be sad about them. Maybe it's because they got bipolar. They like to think that you're sitting at home feeling sad, probably thinking, oh, they're not having sex with me and they don't love me. I know I don't like them blocking me off. Yeah, this person just likes to dim your light. This person is dim. They're getting on my nerves. Yeah, this person's got too much concern with sexual matters. They don't think nothing of themselves. They're just a womanizer and go around sleeping with everyone because they're an emotional man, this person is. Or if it's a woman, take it where it fits. But I feel this person's got a lot of emotions. Yeah, like a woman. And they don't like the fact that you're taking time for yourself and that you're manifesting nice things and that you feel positive this person just likes to break your soul and make you feel unhappy maybe this person like like to put you in a state of bipolar and just use you for sex and it's just sad news to this person that you're becoming stronger this person's right little happiness hater they don't like the fact that your life's coming into balance and your life is coming into balance yeah and then now where they put you and they don't like it because now they're feeling isolated. They're feeling insecure. And now they're worrying about money. And their life's going to be poverty because all they did was choose sex over money and tried to make you have borderline bipolar. And they wanted to break your soul, this ex, because they're just horrible. And that's probably what they're going to tell you. Oh, I feel like I've got borderline bipolar. Yeah, this person knows you're the real deal, but they just don't like to admit it. And I think, oh, we've got a fly in here. I always think that's a spy when I get a fly. Yeah, they don't like the fact that they made the worst mistake of their life. And you had to be your own hero. Maybe people are just finding out now that you had to be your own hero. And they probably said a lot of things about you not being your own hero. And God did give you stress. This person just goes around sleeping with everyone. Hopes that you're sitting at home feeling all sad and missing them. Um, and confused. And oh, it could have been them. I think this person lives in the past a lot. And thinks you're the same as the past person. You know, I'm getting itchy, guys. This person's really insecure. You know, and you show them up for what they should be. And they don't like it. Blimey. Yeah, it's because you're not a choice for them now. And they don't like the fact that you've healed and that you're happier. Yeah, this person is um still in the company of two people, guys. Yeah, they are. So they're not healing themselves. And you're not a choice for them now. No, you're not. Because they've got a black heart. And they're not a very, like, nice person. They're a bit yucky and they're quite evil the way they were. You know, I just got, they're quite evil in any company they keep. They say a lot about other people as well because they're very insecure and they're very selfish and they're nasty. I think this person likes being sad and they've got no self-worth. So they just go around talking about people whilst they're, I'm getting this person does a lot of pillow talk. Like, whenever they're in bed with someone, they talk about the other person, and they, they're they just not a very nice person. Yeah, this person takes one step forward and then two steps back. That's all they do. They go around in circles, this person, because all they do, look, they're wishing ill will on you. They go around sitting there doing their um sexual concerns, having no self-worth, talking about you to everybody. Yeah, I think this person's left behind a lot of people. I think they get blocked by a lot of people as well. Yeah, and they're talking rubbish. They're talking very strange, this person. I think this person has got bipolar. I think people are realising that they're talking very strange. Yes, yeah, because they've done so much spell work and gossip and slandered people. This person's not a very nice person. I think this person's very... I feel very confused at the moment. Like, I'm in this person's energy. Like, just a minute ago, I felt a little bit, like, out of it. I think this person is not down here, but I think this person has done so much um, spell work and probably um, into witchcraft, I'm feeling, that they've messed their head up. 
or they do a lot of drugs and they talk so much gossip where they're slandering everyone they might have even done spell workers in spells which is making them a bit strange and now they're turning out a bit weird which is giving them like bipolar someone can't handle what they what they've done or what they've said because i think um they're very confused at the moment yeah they're very codependent this person yeah look alcoholic alcoholic man or woman yeah god's about to break them this keeps coming up for you god's gonna break them yeah because this is their karma for spying on you they were spying on you they wouldn't let you develop and they wouldn't now all all the people that took part now are all financially screwed and they are and you're just doing things because you're enjoying yourself now this person tried to take away your joy this alky person and what doing that has made them incredibly selfish and they tried to stop your healing trying to stop you being happy oh this is such a lovely person isn't it oh i'm sick of this energy guys i'm so sorry i really am i'm trying my best yeah because you i think you attract broken souls i think this person is a broken soul i just got told this person is very broken i think this person's very hurt and it's not funny this person's just only happy when they're trying to make other people unhappy i feel and I think this person's very damaging, and that's why they go around damaging. This person needs a lot of healing. They really do need a lot of healing. But I think a lot of people are leaving um, leaving this person behind, or that's all they do. Yeah, I'm feeling that drunk feeling again. This person's intoxicated at the moment. They are, or they're just out of their mind, and they don't know what they've said like how they've said it and they just don't know who they are this person yeah this isn't about you this read this is about them yeah this is about them this read i can feel it this is about this alky man or woman to tell you that to stay away from them because they're weak and they're i can't swear on you at the minute but they're very codependent they can't handle it at the moment. They can't because God is about to break them for talking so much weird stuff about you. They could have even slandered your job or your profession or said that you did a different profession that you did. Yeah, and that's all they've done. Look, all the spell work and gossip's coming out and they wished ill will on you. Sorry to repeat yourself, this is how I'm guided. And they literally made the worst mistake of their life. And now it's very sad news for them because things aren't going well. And everyone's knowing that they've got a black heart, guys. I'm feeling really dizzy at the moment, guys. And this isn't my feeling. This person's in too much company. Look, freeze a crowd. Yeah, and they planned your death. And nothing... <laughs> they planned your death. How nice, eh? And now they're angry because it's all out. And they planned your death and wished ill on you. Stay away from this person, guys. Honestly, stay away from this person. They are sick in the head. That might be the sad news. Yeah, this person just tried to clone you. Or whoever they with tried to clone you. This person's very sad, very selfish. I really don't like this energy I'm feeling at the moment, guys. And I don't. Guys, just start afresh and just don't. 